Yeah, dang it. I have that issue where the computer screen goes away. Can somebody grab that link about the North Korean thing? What was the deal with the... What was the... What was the deal with the North Korean? You're going to Disney that Monday, really? This can't be a video game. I thought it was a NASA sim. Control shift. I don't know what that does. Does that like recently close windows? Oh, it does. Yeah, it's okay. You can call me killer. Alright, I can't actually pull that over. No, I don't want to watch the live. Let me read this right now because this is space. You can call me killer. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys. I'm reading this right quick. I'm not going to do it. I do appreciate it. That's that's what I'm talking about. Stop the live video. I already paused that video. Like,
to make jokes about it. Gee, that's kind of Another laser. <laughs> Yet another laser. <laughs> Yet another laser. It's the only Air Force laser. Right? Yeah. Uh, we do have technology.
I will tell you that I don't have enough information to make an informed opinion on it. So we'll move on. We'll move on. You know what I mean? going to say when, and this is uh, 131 pre-release. I don't have like a build number or anything on it, but we can find it in the game. Y'all, let's, uh, y'all link up that stuff about the anti-ballistic missile. Missile. The Navy has been developing anti-ballistic missile capability for the SM-3 SAM. Link up, link up an article on that or something. If there's an article about what that is, I would love to learn more about the cruisers that can shoot down ballistic missiles. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Mutter. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, and there's the change log right there. There's the change log. Space.com. Navy hit satellite. I have to learn about this right quick. And, well, KSP. I don't care. I don't know. That's actually really annoying. Why? Um. Old, the US Navy successfully blasted a wayward satellite with a heat seeking missile over the Pacific Ocean. A bus sized spacecraft, Old Spy Satellite, was targeted above the Earth with a modified st tactical standard missile. The US Navy as it traveled No kidding. Thousand pounds of 
over an area the size of two football fields. They're like, oh, we need to shoot this down. We really need to shoot this down. Every team takes a shot at the United States. I think the team is a cool tank, whether or not the threat was completely eliminated. I don't know at the time. Huh. Welcome to I didn't know that. Uh-oh. Jesse B, whoever that is, thanks for the uh, sub. I appreciate the new subscription there. <laughs> and MRC, thank you for the 11 months. Man, the tier 3 sub for the 11 months. I am back. Um, I have had all sorts of reasons that I haven't been streaming. Uh, but I am back. Jesse B, thank you for the new sub. <laughs> Oh no, how you been doing? Very long. I'll bring that up. Define. Give me a second. Yeah, let me scroll up before it scrolls off. I will. I will. We've got a couple new subs here. That's 36 subs and subs and uh, subs and resubs on the day here. And MRC, man, I am back. I know that I've only done one stream a week for the past two weeks, like two streams in the last two weeks, which is like bad. Uh, but I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you talking chat and everything, huh? Jesse B. Um, Sprawly, thanks for the 10 month resub. Appreciate that as well. Welcome back. I am back. I am not going anywhere. Yeah, let's look at this right quick. <sighs> let's see if we can make that silly pop up go away or whatever. This is not. Wait, time out, time out, time out. I gotta like rewind. Let me pause the Popsky music and look at this right quick. Let me come over this way. Let me just refresh this right quick. Can I hit F5 it? There we go, like that. Is it launched from an airport? What Welcome the heck? Back to the so that's a missile. Being launched. Whoa! Where is this missile going? He's not going anywhere to a pack. <laughs> is that like a thermal thing? Okay, that's fine. Back. I miss you, I miss you too, Alex. Thank you for that. This must be coming out of a cruise. It's got some money. This is one year. Yeah, thank you much. It's like, it's like a baker's year or something like that, I think is the right way to say it. Thanks for the 13 months of support, Johnny Tsunami. Look at that missile go. That's the, okay, so that's the SM3, the standard missile 3 that they were talking about. They shot down a satellite with its modified SM3. Hawaii launched a missile and the boat shoots it down. Ah, thanks, Loopy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the SM-3 is what was launched from the cruiser to shoot down the missile that was launched out of Hawaii. That makes more sense. You got two SpaceX shirts. Nice, Ghost Rider. Cool, man. Put a big dome over their country and put them in timeout. <laughs> like a cone of shame or something. Oh, man. So that was the ballistic missile launched from Hawaii that was shot down by a U.S. cruiser. And this was nine years ago. Yeah, Dirty Squirrel, I saw that, I saw that. No kidding. Look at this. Okay, so this is the... What is this? The, the vehicle that was... The, the missile that was shot from the cruiser, the RV. And was the other one the regular missile? Total target destruction. Nice, that's what you like to hear. Halo 2 looks different. No kidding. Don't turn your back, don't look away, and don't blink. <laughs> it doesn't look nearly statuary enough. Um, let me see if I can refresh that one more time. Now that I know what I'm looking at, um, we're talking about this because we're interested in technology. Politics aside, uh, there were news reports that were just before I started the stream here that North Korea had fired a Japan. And that's kind of a big deal. Like, uh, countries aren't supposed to be shooting missiles over other countries, right? Um, especially certain countries firing missiles over other certain countries. So, we were talking about historic methods for, for dealing with ballistic missile threats. And apparently, that launch that you just saw, that was a ballistic missile, like a test ballistic missile, launched out of Hawaii, and they shot that puppy down with a U.S. cruiser. This is apparently the USS Shiloh. And it fired... A missile lift here. What is, what is, you move those things in and out. Maybe they install that console in there for the test or something. They fired a missile. Look at that slow motion camera of the missile coming out of that cruiser. 
No kidding. Look at how fast those things come out of there. <laughs> wow. Those things don't play around. And apparently this missile fired out of the cruiser intercepted and destroyed the ballistic missile that was fired out of Hawaii. No kidding. So I'm going to see if I can see where it hit. This is the pulse. Those are the different engines, the different phases or whatever. That thrust weight is not kidding around. And these guys look like they're happy that they shot down the missile, which is good, I guess. There's Here you go. So that must be the other missile, and that must be the, the rendezvous trying to hit it. Halo 2. There it says Halo 2. <laughs> and think how old it is. Those would be that super So nine years And you can write, that's sort of a controlled experiment, right? right? So, is that exactly the same as shooting down a missile launch from the moon? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen, I've read about Aegis before. I've read about Aegis. Missiles don't mess around. Look at the Minotaur launcher. It was a converted peacekeeper. Yeah, the Minotaur launcher. Those missiles, like, we actually have some, some peaceful missions. That, like, remember, the entire, like, what? Uh, not Apollo, because we're custom builders. But uh, weren't Gemini and, uh, and uh, Mercury both just modified ballistic missiles that we put dudes on top of and launched into space? Um, those missiles don't mess around. That is for sure. Let me keep on going. Let's see if I'm going to see yeah, I've, I've read about each 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 The warhead destroyed, presumably detonated. Sprawly, um, you know, I can't really answer that. I think that it's like a really complicated thing to make a nuclear warhead go off. So I think the act of shooting it down would probably disable whatever system would cause the nuclear warhead to go off. RV is reentry vehicle. Ah, thank you. Okay, the RV is reentry vehicle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had them backwards. I get you. You saw these rights. Enjoy them. Oh, no, Loopy. Yeah, is that of the eclipse? Yeah, I see that. RV, read the warhead. Thank you for correcting that. All right, it looks like I'm all the way back up. Okay, okay, okay. Shoot with Kerbal. Time to make a missile launch from the launch pad. Put another to platform in the ocean to intercept it. I know, right, Loopy? Maybe we should do a build like that. Any missile really works in the ascent phase, which makes sense because it hasn't accelerated yet. Um, Odabo, I mean, they shot down a satellite with that other thing. But again, a satellite is in a new orbit that has no propulsive change of trajectory, right? Redstone was an army missile, too. There you go. Hey, Gunny, long time no see. I haven't even loaded it up yet, man. People suddenly at you in chat. Okay, wait. Maria Atlas, Gemini, Titan 2. Thank you, Sidem. Yep. We used the bash stones together. Now people are literally firing missiles at each other. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let me scroll down. Let me see. Yeah, I haven't gotten there yet. Okay, good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Okay. The Saturns were the only civilian rockets NASA used. So the only, like, uh, actual purpose built non military rockets. I don't know. You know, Orlando Junkie, that's a good question. Like, if you have a technology that just makes you impervious to attack, do you just sit there and it's like, well, keep shooting, we'll keep shooting down? Like, ah. I don't know the answer to that, man. Again, I'm not a strategist. I don't have enough information. I mean, you could certainly, like, guess at it. Even if you have a technology that's, like, 99.9% .9 accurate at shooting them down, what if one gets through? You know what I mean? Iron Catastrophe, 20 months. Welcome back. Hope to see your safe sound. I am. I am. I am. At some point, I am. <laughs> Hopefully, Korea, North Korea doesn't get their hands on KSP, or their understanding of rocket physics and orbital mechanics will go up significantly. Yeah, the only winning move is not to play. 
It's interesting, Gunny. It's, it's, a, it's a good quote. It's a good quote. What if you're not firing back, though? Like, just what if your defense is so rock solid that you can just sit there and it's like, shoot missiles. We'll just shoot them down every time. Like, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Any real launch would have multiple intercepts. That makes sense. Swift one. That does make a lot of sense. You don't just shoot one missile. You know what I mean? Wait. Slugs and able to break up in the next with places. Do any more SpaceX launches? Yeah, as I mean, as it goes. Like, how much material could it? Remember, right, so. This force. What was the thing about World War II, right? True or false, like my understanding was during World War II, we had only created enough nuclear material to make the two bombs that we dropped. Is that true or false, or is that just me not, right? Me maybe hearing an urban legend or something. I'm not going to tell you this is not an authoritative thing, but at some point I, I recall hearing that the United States had only created X amount of material for the bombs that we made. Three! And the one that we tested. They tested one, and then we dropped two in an offensive sort of manner, right? Yeah, one test to use. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One for the test and two for the trial. Yeah, one was tested. So some amount of time to get the materials together to make another bomb. Whatever your politics are, whether that's right or wrong to do. So if somebody had shot down the two planes that were carrying those two bombs, and we didn't have another one, what would have happened? You know what I mean? Like, there were no uranium bombs. Thank you. Y'all, again, I don't know, like, I, I don't know the history of this. I haven't done... I'm kind of talking about this off the cuff, right? I haven't done a bunch of research about this recently. Um, hoping they would surrender after the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really hard to make the arena. I'm not dead, Sudaban. I'm not dead. That's right, man. I'm not dead. Um, anyways, I mean, if somebody had some sort of system where they could shoot down, I mean, then you start making missiles and you fire ones that don't have warheads and do have warheads, or you try to shoot, like, Ten warheads at a time, only one of which actually has a warhead on it, and the other ones are all decoys or whatever. Like, can your country launch ten missiles at a time? Can you produce those? Can, I, you know what I mean? It's just a bunch of information that we don't really... We could guess all day long, and it's an interesting sort of thought experience to, like, talk about. But I don't know the answers. I really don't know the answers about it. I don't. Um, did they, was, was Indianapolis the one that they just found? Didn't I see some pictures on social media about the uh, the ship's bell and the number? If Am I mapping those two things together? Sudaban, thanks for the 16 months. Also, boom! <laughs> thank you for the 16 months. I do appreciate the 16 months of support. And then Thunderguard, thank you for the 17 months. I appreciate that. What you're talking about is exactly what was thought about during the Cold War. You mean shooting things down versus not sh shooting things down, boss? Or... I mean, I do appreciate everybody sort of being mature about the discussion. Like, I I like discussing technology, and I like thinking, like, what if? Um, none of us know what the right answer is and the wrong answer was or whatever. And as long as it doesn't devolve into name-calling, like, they were idiots, or you know what I mean? Idiots was a ship sunk they just found the one of the atomic bombs. No kidding. No kidding. Two more Fitman bombs were in trial, detonated less than a year after the first was dropped. Okay. Um, yeah, y'all, the chat is going so fast and curious, I, I haven't completely caught up uh, with what everything, everybody's saying. <laughs> oh, no. We'll do four documented gadgets. Again, like I said, we're Controls of all my friends. It must be summer time again. It's been so long since I felt this good. We're gonna blast off from my neighborhood. Gonna fly real fast through outer space. Finally touch down at Chucky's place. So sing with me, every boy and girl. I get your Chucky T's summer red and out of this 
forcing DirectX 11 makes the game look terrible and decreases the performance for some reason. Oh, that's what you said. Oh, about reporting buzz. Well, I mean, I'm just talking about truth is all I'm doing. Now.
my life, star bright, the coolest star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, to have this wish I wish tonight. I wish to play with all my friends, I wish this summer would never end. I wish this wish, thank you and please, to spend my summer with Chuck E. Cheese.